G'day, it's Mark here again, and uh, today I'm with Fletch and his 1974 Dodge Monaco of uh, Blues Brothers flight. Yeah. Flame or fame? Fame. I'm a, I'm a Blues Brothers tragic. <laughs> and um, when I first saw the movie in 1980, I watched it roughly 10 times a year till 1990. So there's at least 100 <laughs> times and 50 or 60 times since then. So wow. it's pro probably safe to So you play. like the movie? Um, there's still parts of it I don't quite get, but I still <laughs> keep watching that. It's about 150 times. Wow. But anyway, when I first saw this car, uh, well, it was the movie that put the 74 Monaco on the map. Now, Dodge uh, essentially was a workhorse car. They were police yeah. cars. They were never really known or uh, recognised in the luxury class, although they're still a full-size American car, and they do ride incredibly well. This is the custom, and the difference between this car and what would have been seen on the Blues Brothers as a police car is a little bit of uh, wood grain on the dash, uh, a vinyl roof, and uh, some different trim. In the movie, it was a, a brown tan vinyl uh, interior. Where here, it's a more of a it's a blue brocade. Right. Um, it's getting a bit delicate now for its age. Now, forty five thousand mile car. Wow. Again. It's like a brand new car, it's just old, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, there's even a piece of paper on the dashboard where the man, the original owner, a San Francisco car, I believe, right. wrote his first service on there in 74. And wow. he left that on the dash in pencil on a piece of paper. That's great. So I've left that there. Yeah. Um, it does everything correctly. It's original 360, never had the heads off. It yep. doesn't use any oil, doesn't blow any smoke. Yeah. What do we say? Beautiful car. <laughs> it's just a classic 74 Monaco. Yeah. I guess... I had to put the bar on the front. The reason yeah. I did that, it's not that's not a Fletch creation. That's a, off a, a, a blueprint spec from the Los Angeles Police Department. Oh, so right. It is a, a properly made bar. Yeah. And I just think it lends itself to that. It's almost like the uh, the police chief's car. Right. So to yeah. speak, you know, yeah. back in the time. Well, John Candy, remember, he was the police chief, and that, yeah, where that he, ended up on the side of the yeah, truck. Yeah, that was a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but he... For just a few seconds, he he pulled up in a um, in a, in a brown Monaco, right? Um, outside where the men's home, you know, yeah, went upstairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before Carrie Fisher came in and with the bazooka and blew <laughs> up. So that was the police chief's car, uh, brown car, black steel wheels. Yeah, and to me personally, you mm -hmm. know, what I, you know what I'm like with my black steel wheels and my yep. steel wheels. Yes, you know, so yeah, beautiful. Well, let's just have a bit of a pan around, look at the car. Oh yes, yeah, you got your black wheels there. With some white wall tyres. Very cool. Love these Monaco's. Such a good looking car. And as Fletch alluded to, there's the custom badge there. Just an all original car. But Fletch, I was with Fletch when he bought this in Ohio. Got this from Murray Park. Uh, had a tree growing through it. Remember Fletch? Had a tree going, growing through the bumper and the grill. We had to get a little saw and cut it off. Uh, I might try and see if I can find a picture of that. I don't know if I've got one or not. But... Murray started it up. Yeah. The cornfields did 80 miles an hour. And then... There's the brocade interior that Fletch was talking about. Obviously, the police would have had that heavy-duty vinyl. The wood grain on the uh, door trims. Quite a large rear parcel shelf there. Like that rake of the roof. And then the Chrysler... Uh, Dash. Hey, Fletch, can you turn the parking lights on? Because it's one of these things that, about this car that I think really love the, the sort of inset parking lights. I think that looks so cool. And also, just something totally a bit of a, yeah. a digression. Around the back, the top of the rear quarters, they use galvanised sections. You see where the paint's come off? Oh, I'll go and, and film that. Galvanised yeah. steel. All right. Yeah. yeah, how good does that look? That looks great. It almost it just looks like a police car, doesn't it? It really does. I'll just go around to the back. But the Fletch was talking about the galvanised... Uh, Still, there's little side marker lights. 1968, all American cars had to have side marker lights. That was a mandatory federal rule. Yeah, that's a mean looking car, isn't it? What are the Blues Brothers? Did it say doggy or dog or something instead of had the D missing? Yeah, the, and this is actually in the movie. Yeah. The G was missing. Right. But you can see why, because they are actually, ah. they're actually loose. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, I thought it said dog. D. I thought the D was missing. No, I can't remember. The G was it? This door here, the galvanised door. Yeah. Now you think that that there? Yeah. Well, you'd think it'd cut your fingers off coming up. The amount of steel in this, yeah. but that is perfectly balanced. So when it comes up, it just just closes beautifully. Look. There you go. Look at that. Now talk about Japanese quality. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So, Fletch, what do you love about this car? <laughs> I just think, I, I suppose it goes back to the Blues Brothers movie, I yeah. think. Um, and also finding a, such a brilliant example um, yeah. of the car as well. I, when they go, you know, rough and daggy and full of rust, you know, it's pretty easy to paint them black and white and make a blues mobile out of it. But right. it'd be sacrilege to do that to this car because yes. it's just too good. Yeah. It's yeah. just too good. So, yeah. having said that, um, again, it, it's probably one of the better examples in Australia that you'll find of a '74 Monaco. Yeah. Um, and let's face it, if it wasn't for the movie, well, you know, it'd just you know, be another car, a wouldn't car it? A car like this would have just yeah. gone to the crusher, yeah. and like the rest of them, which is really sad. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. But I don't know. I think the the movie put the '74 Monaco on the map. Yeah. And s saved a few of them. Yes. Um, but no, they did a good job. They they did have their luxury version with, uh, you know, bucket seats and all that. And yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they had like the Brougham, didn't they, which is the upscale yeah. version. Yeah. yeah. So, they were a nice car. All right, Fletch, well, thanks very much for showing us your 74 Dodge Monaco. You're welcome, Mark. Thank you very much and uh, a pleasure again being on your channel. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.